Georgia's Joey Jackson. Here's Don Noah to make the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 235 pounds from Kentucky, Georgia's Joey Jackson. His opponent in this corner, 238 pounds from Dallas, Texas, Scott Right. Great Scott. You can't remember Peterson. <laughs> I forgot both Scott and Peterson a little while ago. I had a, I had it written down. Well, he just got here last week, so it's Scott Peterson, who, by the way, made a very impressive debut, not only in the Portland Sports Arena, but I understand uh, he was quite impressive in other towns throughout the Northwest last week. Gorgeous Joey Jackson, of course, uh, making uh, sure that Scott Peterson knows don't mess with the hair. Leave the hair alone. It's too beautiful to be messed up. And he's take his robe off and probably give his comb to uh, some marvelously lucky bystander here. And there goes the robe, and there goes the comb. Who's he going to give the comb to? Oh, yes, lovely young lady right there of about seven. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. When she's 37, she's still going to have that comb. Scott Peterson and uh, gorgeous Joy Jackson, the assassin, joining us in the crow's nest right now. By the way, before we go any further, I want to I want to give you that phone number for that match, those matches in Eugene, three world championship matches, Tickets are on sale right now, 686-4481. That's 686-4481 to get your tickets. And you also get tickets at the door. Assassin. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on. Man, when you talk about professional wrestling in the Pacific Northwest, I'm watching two great athletes and gorgeous Joy Jackson and this Scott Peterson. You know, Don Kosh, professional wrestling has been breaking attendance records throughout the whole world, you understand? And... This week here in the Pacific Northwest has got to be the hottest, the hottest professional wrestling to be seen throughout, throughout the Pacific Northwest. I mean, Don Owens and Barry Owens are bringing you the best that professional wrestling's got to offer. And I mean, when you talk about the big thing coming up in Eugene Friday night, NWA versus AWA, I mean, all the great matches, all the great champions. All the great athletes that are wrestling right now in the Pacific Northwest, I'm telling you, I've never seen I've never seen it so hot and so intense in the Pacific Northwest. I, it hasn't been. Look here, look look at this list here. Starting with Vernonia tomorrow, and we got coal miners glove matches, we got Indian strap matches, cage match in uh, Medford. Look at that. We got the big extravaganza, logger strap match, battle royal. We got a a street fight in Vancouver on the fifth. There's a lot of things going on, you understand? When it all gets too heavy, they're coming to go, and it looks like either the clan's going to go, or for once and for all, rip the cripple all over. I got to say, I got a good move there by Scott Peterson. I got one of the uh, 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 roughest matches tonight. I got rip the cripple all over in Falls Count anywhere in the building by no means. By no means do I not understand that Rip Oliver will be coming after me and trying to injure me for I'll lose. He, after all, he does got that $5,000 bounty, and he does send Matt Bourne half the money, and he wants, he wants to see me hurt. He wants to see me out of his hair because he's scared to face me himself in a coal miner's glove match. Absolutely. You know, people are still talking about uh, a week ago in Eugene, that match that you had with Oliver down there that I guess you guys were... You were in the concession stands. You were uh, practically out in the parking lot with that match. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff stirred up. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of stuff stirred up about that. You know, things got totally out of line, and sometimes that happens in professional wrestling. Uh, again, I look at uh, gorgeous Joey Jackson. I look at the Scott Peterson. I'm just wondering. You're looking at two great athletes. The weight, the weight factor. Can I, can I be Joey? Joey Jackson pointing up here at me. He better be worrying about Scott Peterson here. But. Uh, they're so evenly matched, these two, that I, it, just the outcome of this has really got me wondering which man would defeat who. Well, they are evenly matched, and both of them tremendous athletes in their own right. And, of course, Peterson, the rookie, 
And Joey Jackson has really been kind of a rookie up in the last few months. But, boy, I tell you, this guy has really learned fast. Well, I got to give credit where credit, where credit is due. I got to say that gorgeous Joey Jackson is the most improved professional wrestler of the year 1987. Well, that's, uh, I don't think anybody's going to argue with about that because uh, we can remember a few months ago when he certainly wasn't looking and moving the way he is right now. I mean, he's, uh, <laughs> he's something to contend with. Yeah, and when I look at him, I can tell that he does a lot, a lot. He rides a lot with Rip the Crippler, Oliver, the leader of the clan. And I can tell that Oliver has been uh, putting a lot of stuff in his head, you know. Rip the Crippler, Oliver, known to lead people down, down the wrong path. Well, that's for sure. And you can also tell that he's spending some time in the gym, too. That guy's working out. Yes, yes, that beautiful drop kick by Scott Peterson. Headlock, Joey Jackson in a lot of trouble here. Takedown by Peterson. Jackson, uh, Jackson's really concerned about his hair. Assassin. I've never seen anybody so concerned about the hair. I've seen him lose matches over that. Yeah, well, he better be concerned about this uh, Scott Peterson, Sandy Barr, checking things real close here. I see Joey Jackson trying to take a shortcut. Sandy Barr keeping a close eye on that, see if uh, Jackson's shoulders go down. How many times have you seen it where a man has taken his mind off his shoulders and forgotten they're on the mat and they've got pinned? Well, it's happened many times to many different athletes, you understand. I want to talk now, you know, uh, May 7th, I still got Rip the Crippler Oliver wondering what kind of match can the Assassin have me in on May 7th in Salem? Well, Rip Oliver is one of the biggest wrestling matches you could ever think of, brother, and it's coming to you May 7th, Salem Armory. And Oliver, you just keep on wondering, but there's going to be people coming from all over the world to see this one. That's in Salem on the 7th. All right, now, we hadn't heard about that, and I have a feeling you're not going to tell anybody a whole lot about it. I ain't going to tell nobody nothing. I'm keeping everything to myself here because this here is very, very, very important to me. All right, that's uh, May 7th in uh, Salem at the Armory in Salem. Yep. Anyway, when you talk about professional wrestling, you talk about everything that's going on. Next Saturday night is going to be the hardest match. Matt Bourne undefeated in a Cold Miners Glove match. The Assassin undefeated in a Cold Miners Glove match. The people of the Pacific Northwest, stand behind me, baby. I guarantee you one thing. When it's all over with, I'm going to knock Matt Bourne's lights out. All right. Well, Matt Bourne is flying, as everybody knows by now, is flying into Portland uh, next week. He's coming after the money, assassin. That money on your head, five grand. Beautiful move by Joey Jackson there. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes. Yeah, I know he's coming after so many wrestlers that I know are coming after trying to get this $5,000 bounty because one yellow ripped the crippler Oliver is too yellow to face me in a coal miners glove match. You got me tonight in Falls County anywhere in the building. Joy Jackson taking a shortcut here. Uh, he's going to choke Scott Peterson on the ropes. Whips him back. Peterson's hurting right now. He's trying to catch his breath. Boy, that is so dangerous when they're choking him like that. And I know you've You've uh, you've had that many, many times. That, can, that could crush your larynx. That's right. It could crush you. But, you know, again, i got to say that Don and Barry Owens are bringing you the best professional wrestling, the best that the NWA has got to offer. Whenever you see the marquee and it says, Owens Promotion, NWA Professional Wrestling, you're assured of the finest in professional wrestling, brother. And when you talk about the great athletes that are here in the Pacific Northwest, it goes on down the line. From Ricky Santana, Coco Samoa, George Scolan, Mark Young, you name it. Great athletes here, you understand. It's Scott Peterson, Joey Jackson, Mean Mike Miller, Rip the Crip Oliver. I cannot take away, besides being a yellow egg sucking dog, I cannot take away how much he's done here in the Pacific Northwest. That I cannot take away from him, okay? But Buddha Dean, okay? This Art Cruz, I mean, hey, Don Owens is bringing the best for the people of the Pacific Northwest. He always has. He always has, Assassin, going clear back to, uh, well, as far as anybody can remember, Gorgeous George. He started here. That's right, Gorgeous George. There's many, many professional wrestlers who have uh, made their debuts here in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, that's because the Pacific Northwest, without any doubt, is a hotbed of professional wrestling. Absolutely. This is, this is where it is. This is where it starts. And a lot of the stars you see around the world today have started right here. Look at that. 
This Joey Jackson, I'm telling you, he's getting ring wise. He what has he been? Uh, is he taking a few pages out of the Klan's book or what? He probably graduated from the uh, Oliver's Klan graduation on how to cripple people. Yeah, it looks like it. There goes Jackson into the air. Turnbuckle. Beautiful back body. Beautiful drop, back drop by Scott Peterson. Joey Jackson now in trouble. Oh, uh, yeah. Now it's Jackson that's hurting. And Peterson staying right on his man, too. Going to go for a body slam. Going to get him out in the middle of the ring. There's Scott Peterson. Whoa, a power body slam. One, two, oh. Joey Jackson kicks out by pure determination only as he is still in what Scott Peterson is all about, brother. I'm going to leave right now, Don Kosh. All the people of the Pacific Northwest, wherever we may be in your town, you're sure to see the best in professional wrestling. Oliver's clan is in more trouble now than it's ever been. And Oliver, sooner or later, you'll have to face me in a coal miner's glove match. And then, Jack, we're going to find out who the man is. All right, the assassin leaving the crow's nest now. And, and uh, on those words, <laughs> he means them. The man is on fire. You can't see the look in his eyes or how red his neck is. And, and uh, man, I tell you, but the guy means every single word that he said. And he's right, too. I, I, I can't remember when the Klan has been as concerned as they are right now. They, they'll get up here and say, oh, we're not worried about this, not worried about that. They're worried. They are concerned. And they are in trouble, and they know it, too. And sooner or later, as the assassin said, Oliver is going to be forced into a coal miner's glove match with the assassin. And that could just very well be right there, the beginning of the end, if not the end, of the clan as you know them today. Scott Peterson going to go for a suplex on Joey Jackson. Peterson uh, is bleeding from the nose. Peterson's got himself a nose bleed out there. And Jackson kicks out at the count of two. And boy, these guys really... In fact, Peterson may have broken his nose. Well, I hope he's going to be all right. Both men battling to a draw. Scott Peterson and gorgeous Joey Jackson. A draw. And we'll be back with a special interview. And our main event, our television main event, right after this. Don't go away. <laughs> 